Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto sale flyer. So we are from April 26th to May 8th. Sorry, I missed a couple of days again there. I'm two days late. Again, uh, better late than never, as I always say. So anyways, let's have a look at the flyer for this two-week sale, sale flyer here. So we got the little mini tiller, but I think that's like a little four-stroke engine on there, too. It's not like a little two-stroke, two so that's kind of cool. Expensive enough, though, really, but um, they're, they're definitely, <laughs> these tailors are definitely, definitely not as good as they used to be when they were um, built in the 70s, we'll say. Oh, man, they were tanks. Man, they made them to last forever. Now they're just garbage, but anyways. What else we got here? Looks like some garden stuff. Hose reel. That's kind of neat, actually. $109. Oh, wow. Stuff's gotten so expensive. Water filters. Hmm. Interesting landscape break. I got one of these actually. I got a I've got a 36 and I cut these two ends off each end so it would be wide enough for my little green trailer that we built. So that I could rake dirt without it kind of hitting the sides. It works actually pretty good now. There's some ramps. Nice and some shelving. Ratchet, that's actually a really, really, really good price. That's 27 foot two. Wow. Those are kind of like the ones I use, but for $12.88, that's a really good deal. 10,000 pound, too. Wow. Oh, I've got some ads. So this is kind of cool here. If you can read into this here, have a read of this. 12-volt starter generator. Look at the price of it back in oh, 1977, I guess we'll say. Somewhere in around there. I don't know if that's for this engine's from. It doesn't really say year, but it's from a while ago, anyways, because they haven't used starter generators for an awful long time. But with farm certified, so if you're farm certified, you get it for a cheaper price, I guess, back then, a non farm use. Now they call it ag something. So $335 for any normal Joe to go in there, but it weighed a hundred. Wait a minute, 12 and a half horse engine. Holy, he weighed 178 pounds. Oh, man. Look at some of this other old stuff from the old flyers. Ventilation fans, neat stuff, eh? Wow. Anyways, we've got some ramps. It's too bad, you know, you look at us all great old stuff. You look at this stuff, it's like, God, this stuff is junk. These might be all right, but these things are garbage. I had a set of them. They're just junk. Nice little toolbox there and the and a uh, truck mount crane. That's all right. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, that's a... That's a trailer hitch mount, I think. Trailer gate for full clearance reposition, but it doesn't really say, but to me it looks like a trailer hitch one. Hmm, maybe. Car seats and car covers. Car, car seats, covers. Aluminum curb ramp. Oh, that's kind of cool. I got a set of these. They're actually pretty good. A winch. Yeah. An axle. More trailer stuff. Ooh, trailer wiring. That's good. It's nice that you're using this stuff now instead of the, I don't know if it shows the other stuff here, but, you know, the other flat wire stuff. Ah, that's not really that great of stuff, that flat wire stuff. Shrinky tubes. There's a whole bunch of, uh, ooh, 100, no, uh, 25 pieces. Uh, that's not too bad, $1.99 for them. There's a whole kit for 100 bucks. That's enough, but you get the crimping tool too, which is kind of good, I guess. Trailer lights. Trailer and connector. Hmm. I'm just going to kind of look through this. There's a lot of stuff that seems to be kind of repeating. That's kind of interesting, though. But the thieves bust those off in seconds. Somehow they know how to do it. Some good wheels there. Turf tire assembly. Ooh, uh, trailer wheels. That's good. Ooh, $229 for a Forest King chainsaw. Don't break it. If you bought one of those, you'll never find parts <laughs> unless you buy a whole new saw. There's a nice jackhammer, $399, $400. Wow. 
the gas powered one, driller, and probably a yeah, breaker. Same price. Tire changer, eh? Hmm. That might not be too bad of a deal. You really got to mount these down to something like a cement floor or something because you're reefing on these things. So you don't want it coming off on you. I've been actually looking on Facebook Marketplace and there's um, like professional tire shop, air tire, air shop, <laughs> professional tire shop, tire changing machines that have come on there. I'm like, hmm, you know what? You get that in a balancer, you could just buy your own tire somewhere and mount your own wheels. I'm kind of thinking about it, honestly. If I have more room, I might do that. That'd be pretty slick. So we got some receiver hitch stuff. Looks like some trailer, RV trailer stuff. That's actually a good idea. Hmm. Awning cleaner. I probably should do mine. I imagine it's pretty nasty. Slide out lube. Oh, they have that too there. That's good. I needed some of that and I needed some of slide out lube and the um, rubber stuff. Lubricant. I don't know. It's all French here. Nice job, guys. Joints de Kuchashu. Oh, really? Trailer hitch lube, rubber seal conditioner. That's it. That's a lot cheaper than the RV store when I bought my trailer back then. I think it was about $23 then. I've had that for probably 8, 10 years, whatever it is now. Brake controllers. Nice. Steps, more RV stuff. Oversized wheel chalk. Some plugs and stuff. They're really gearing, gearing everybody up for camping. That's good. 30 amp RV adapters. That'll come from like a generator, I guess. Into probably a 110. Or the 30 amp, like uh, one of these. Uh, there's some more plugs there. Yeah, that's going from your one out of your trailer into the 110 and your wall. I think I've got one like this that goes from this to the to one of these, basically, for your, or no, for, from one of these to uh, one of these, yeah. And that looks like it's going from a 50 amp down to a 30. Hmm. All kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Wires. Sewer stuff. Wow, they really got that camping stuff going here. RV blowout plug. Hey, now that is something I could really use, except I made my own. But And, uh, wow, they really got a small little hole there. Holy cow. I just made one with one of these and then threaded one of these into it. And it works great. Um, for years, I was running the green or the pink stuff in it to, you know, do the lines. I just blow them out there now. It's way better. And you get, don't get the flavor, all that pink crap in for like months and stain and stuff. And it's just nasty. So just blow the air through her. Rechargeable camp shower. Okay. It's a little camp stove there. Butane stove. Some anchors. Drop the anchor. The pumps. I want to run to pumps now. Holy smokes. Fire hose. That's kind of cool. Is that a... Well, garden hose reel. Wow. Hmm. That would be handy. Wheel barrels. Oh, the Remington CO2 BB pistol. I don't think I'd ever buy a CO2 BB pistol again like that. I, I, like, I never had one of these, but I've had them before. And it's like, the first couple of shots are great. And then it's just like, puh, 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 puh. after it kind of sucks. So, slab setter. Wow. Okay, never thought anything of like that before. Some fans, some exhaust fans, scratch and dent sale. Ooh. When is that? Saturday, May 7th. One day only. Shop it. Are used, dented, and repurposed. So stuff that's been returned, too, that's broken. Look, they got America money for you guys and Canadian money, eh? All the colorful stuff. There's some locks and uh, some drilling machines. That's all right. 
Some more plugs. Ooh, $21.99 for that. That's pretty good. There's one of those hitches, those three-point hitches. That's actually not too bad of a price. $1.99 for that. Uh, for all I hitch up and stuff, I'll just go with the other one. Uh, well, just the non one. Just hitch them up and go. And this is kind of cool. Growing light. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, metal heated. Oh, I thought it was a ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> Four gallon metal heated water. Yeah, I don't want that. Looks like aminal stuff. Some more casters and chains and name thingies. I got a few of them. The load miners, they work good. Wow, that's that's cheap. That's really cheap. Wow. <laughs> metrics eh? oh they're still selling these four grand man oh man that seems like a lot but i guess there's a lot into that look at the two little teeth on it too eh? does it say what size of buckets on it bucket with 13 and a half inch boy i think you're well maybe i can't believe the price of these fuel pumps now holy smokes wow we fuel stuff weed whacking stuff postal auger and stuff clutchy stuff Engine -y stuff, electric engine, gas engine -y stuff. $2,300. Save $500 on that, though. Holy smokes. You know they're expensive when the save $500 comes up. <laughs> There's some more gas engines. That would be uh, pretty much probably a direct replacement for my uh, zero turn, but it's Briggs and Scrap Iron again. I don't know if I'd want to do them again. Really don't like their. Um, <sighs> Auto choke stuff. I don't really like that too much on them engines. I'd rather pull a thing to open the choke or close the choke myself. A little pressure washer. I got a little guy like this. It's not terrible bad. It's not tremendous, but I wouldn't want to be washing a whole lot. But a couple of little things here and there is all right. Pressure washer carts even. The pressure washer uh, water broom, they call them. Straight insulated pressure washer wands. There's the one that shoots you in the face. <laughs> A little pressure washer, 179. Ooh, power stuff. Here we go. Hey, this has two terminals on it. I guess that's that's neat. If you could use it for you know one thing or another. Gum out. There's some of your spray and stuff. Manual fluid extractor. Hmm. VP. Very poopy, maybe. No, I don't know. <laughs> 5W3520. I need 020 for the car. That's a pretty good price for that. Full synthetic. Whew. Of course, they don't have the one for the car. That's not really much of a deal. It's almost, well, it's maybe a little bit more at the gas stations around here, but def fluid. Man, air conditioning stuff. Yeah, it's going to be getting hot again. Everybody's going to be like, my air conditioning doesn't work. Go get a can of stuff then. Put it in. Okay. Nice paint too even. Oh, boy. Cleaning stuff. More air conditioner stuff for your car. Lifts for your motorcycles and ATV stuff. Some jack stands. Air compressor stuff. Some other jack scissor jacks. Transmission jack. Killing jacks. Those things are just never get one of them. <laughs> it's just terrible. I don't know about that. I never had good luck with their uh, air stuff. They always took them back. Some bit stuff. Some more air stuff, I guess. Yeah, air hose reel. That's cool. These are pretty good. I got about three of these going here now. They're pretty decent. Some hose. This is probably the flex air hose. Whether it might be the better stuff. Instagram. What is that? Screed leveling set. Oh, metal detector kit. Nice. Scan depth seven inch. That's it. Oh man, that's boring. Some ratchet stuff. Some wrenchy stuff, some hammer and stuff. These are kind of funny ones, but they actually do work pretty good. Little wrenches. Clampy things. Squaring thingies. 
Ooh, protective film. Like shrink wrappy stuff. Ratcheting PVC pipe cutter. Pex crimp tool remover. Sometimes you can wreck the fitting though if you cut this too far through that ring. Ends up wrecking your fitting anyways. Storage bins. Tractor seat thingy. That's cool. Car ports. Three ninety nine. I wonder how many years you get out of that before it went rotten and ripping through and stuff. Bit of snow on it. Junk. <laughs> Moving dollies. Oh, dust collector. That's cool. That thing sucks, I bet. Ah, get it. Sucks. A nice uh, tripod work light there. 10 foot ladder. Wow, 219. That's pretty cheap. That's a good price. Masky things and filtery things for your masks. Some diving goggles. <laughs> Safety vests and shirts. First aid kits. That's good to have. Oh, the hydraulic stuff. There you go. And filler head. Filter head, sorry. Some cylinders and some reservoir tanks. Chunky RC stuff. Kind of looks like a Traxxas, doesn't it? Welding stuff. Wow, $2,000 for this. $2,100, really. That it does make TIG and stick. That's pretty cool. So I guess you just change the ends here, pull the thing out, and away you go. I always wanted to try TIG, but you got to be so clean and precise with the TIG. I'm like, meh. If you're welding, like, motorcycle frames or bicycle frames or something, sure, okay, but... Wow, $229 is for the cheapy one now, eh? Wow, we you wouldn't weld much with that. Oh, I do miss the smell of the old welding rods, though. There's something about that smell. I don't know. I do have a, a, a an arc welder. I don't think I've ever shown you guys. It's an oldie, and it weighs like 4,000 pounds. It's so heavy, but I don't even remember if I've even got any welding rods left now, so... Some metal forming and bending tools again, of course. Catalog, 2022 catalog is now available. Nice tote. Oh, there's your uh, HD TV outdoor antenna again. Skull stra strategy game. Well, there you go. Surplus. Oh, we love the surplus. Surplus, surplus, surplus. Oh, I love these things, even though I like the ones that look like they've been used, though. These are a lot of them are just new now, right? So it's like, wow, boring. I want ones that still smell like ammunition inside. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Here's your lovely Canadian flags made in China. That aggravates me a lot. Really does aggravate me a lot when I see that. Well, what do we got here? A little fridge, little fridge, fridge freezer. That's kind of cool. Little wee guy. Some tape, duct tape, uh, boxing tape, painter's tape. USB charger. Hey, that's all right. Dual band Wi-Fi router. Speeds up to, oh, that's not very fast. Five gigahertz. So I guess that is fast. That 5G stuff they're getting out now. Man, I think there's going to be a lot of problems coming with that. People are going to be getting sick. It's too high of a frequency. Mess you up. There's some nice LEDs. That's cheap. Wow, eight bucks. Ooh. What on earth is that? Oh, can crusher. Gotcha. Smushes it out and it falls out the bottom. 38 millimeter half inch drive axle socket. Axle nut socket. Wow. Big feller. I've got one, actually, and it's, uh, what size is it? It's only, uh, 30 millimeter. That's an eight millimeter bigger. Oh, that might be the end of our flyer. Looks like it. Well, that's it, I guess, for our two-week Princess Auto sale flyer. Sorry again that it was late coming up with that, but uh, she's, like I say, better late than never. So, anyways, uh, April 26th to May 8th, 2022. You guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching, and happy shopping. We'll catch you all later.